Hello there again. Um, this is another episode of Beat the Bug, which I'm delighted that we've got Greg Fell. He's a director of public health in Sheffield, and he has got responsibility to half a million people during this difficult time. So I'm just going to get Greg in. Greg, hello there and welcome to Hi. this Hi. short video. Thank you. This short video for Beat the Bug. Um, you've got a big job on. You've got to look after half a million people in Sheffield. Um, when you're trying to kind of keep that kind of you know, concise information, what is the single most important message you're getting out there? Um, I'll say two things. Um, firstly, people ask me individually, what can they do to reduce their risk of, of becoming poorly with this coronavirus? Um, and the single most important thing is wash your hands. Uh, wash your hands with hot soap and water. People will, will use alcohol-based gel, which is fine and alcohol-based gel works, but hot soap and water is by far the single most important thing we can do to reduce our risk of infection. Um, we, we, someone coughs and sneezes, that the droplets land on the hard surface, I touch the surface, and then I have to put my hand to my mouth. Um, that's how the infection spreads. So washing hands is the single most important thing. But then more broadly, um, the, the the kind of a, a societal level, it's the stay at home message. And, and, and it does mean stay at home. People call it social distancing. They call it stay at home. They call it whatever they want to call it. Um, um, but, but it does mean stay at home. It doesn't mean um, have a barbecue with all of your mates. East, Easter weekend is nearly upon us and we're, we'll, all, we'll all want to have barbecues with all of our friends. Um, that's an ideal way to spread a virus when we're, we're, when, we're with, when, when we're with a bunch of people that we're not normally with. That's how viruses spread. So, um, and that, that matters. That stay-at-home message really matters and is making a difference. Um, what we're seeing with the data that comes through is that the, the worst case scenarios that we were predicting early on, early on in this are not coming to pass. Um, uh, and that is because that message about social distancing's really hit home. Um, and, you know, society is on lockdown and that's tough, really, really tough. I've no doubts about it. I'm, I'm, I'm party to it too. Um, but it is making a difference. And um, when, when the Prime Minister says stay at home, protect the NHS and save, saves lives, um, he, one, he means it, um, and two, it is doing exactly what it was intended to. So whilst it's difficult, um, lives have been saved by doing that. So those are the two things that we can do. Um, right. And again, I think people are going to slightly confused in a way. They're thinking, you know, we, we've got this message of stay at home and and yet the CMO has been quite adamant that you've got to go out for your exercise as well. And then there's a kind of conflict, a bit of a worry for people saying, well, will I be more likely to catch coronavirus? Or am I being antisocial by being outside and doing my exercise? Yeah. Can you just say how important yeah. it is? Yeah. So, so one exercise is is the magic bullet or the the, the magic medicine. It, it, it's of, it's it's often characterised as that, and it genuinely is. Um, the, the the message on stay at home um, is is important, has made a difference undoubtedly. But equally, you know, we've all seen chief medical officer on those five, five o'clock press conferences where he's frequently said exercising is really really important. Um, so if you can do that in the house, great. I have a, some steps in my house, and I can do aerobics so and kind of steps up and down there but I, I, I my exercise is a run so I go for a run um, two or three three or four times a week um, going for a run um, um, isn't isn't gonna either expose you to more risk or expose or expose others to the risk that you pose so long as you're doing it with your family group or your household group um, if you're going for a run with 250 other people then then again that becomes an ideal opportunity for a virus to spread um, but but um, the, the, the going for a run going for a walk walking the dog doing whatever in your either individually or in your household group uh, really matters because that it, it makes us fitter um, and the evidence is kind of indicating that that physical fitness matters for those of us that are un unlucky enough to become poorly with th with this particular virus and does it help the mental health as well by getting out yeah sure yeah well, un un undoubtedly well, it helps my mental health i know that for a fact <laughs> so un un undoubtedly Undoubtedly, um, uh, uh, do dopamine is, I think, is I think the uh, the thing at the, the the source of it. But exercise definitely encourages positive mental health, positive mental outlook. Um, um, and, you know, the, the evidence in peacetime is very, very clear on that, and there's no reason why it wouldn't be the same now.
So the other things, of course, um, people are stressed up. Um, they're probably drinking too yeah. much. They're probably finding it really hard to give up smoking, a bit worried because they hear that smoking is not good if you've um, got coronavirus. And of course, the weight has become an issue for people who've got coronavirus. So those three things of kind of um, the drinking, the smoking, which all kind of get worse when you're stressed. How would you say to people about trying to, you know, trying to ease off those? And this is a good opportunity to do it now. Um Oh, it's definitely a good opportunity. There's no time like the present. I suppose I'll, I'll pick on smoking first. Smoking is the new smoking. Um, and yeah, you're right. The evidence is that those uh, people who are unlucky enough to be hospitalized with coronavirus um, tend to do worse if they're smokers. Um, and th th that said, um, I've read a snippet of intelligence last week from Ash, I think it was, who was a national charity, that said sales of nicotine replacement products have gone up 50% over the last month or so. And certainly talking to the people who run our stop smoking services, they've never been busier. Um, which is fabulous. I'm, you know, I'm spectacularly happy that they've never been busier. I like to keep them busy. Um, so um, people are um, definitely increasing their efforts to stop smoking, and there are pl there are plenty of opportunities that, uh, within um, N N NHS services and, and beyond that are more than happy to help them. And then um, the, uh, um, the weight loss as well is a, is obviously tricky because we're not we're sitting indoors. You know, we've got access to the fridge. <laughs> you've got access. You're not outdoors. So you know, again, yeah. is it important? And is now a good opportunity to to try and sort out it, the weight. It's yeah. I've been watching with interest the 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 reporting in various pieces of research that um there is a tendency. I think I read this right that that seventy five percent of those who have been hospitalized with coronavirus were overweight or obese um, and it's fair to say that uh, two-thirds so 66 66 percent of the population are overweight or obese so um, that could be just a chance finding and I think the it could very readily be that um, it's just a, kind of an artifact of the data so to speak and I think there's maybe a bit of overplaying of the message that obesity is a big risk factor um, it's a big risk factor for all sorts of health conditions anyway um, but it, it could be that it's an overplaying that it's a big risk factor for um, uh, corona or doing badly with coronavirus, um, given that that sixty six percent of us are overweight anyway. Um, yeah. So uh, either way, losing weight is never going to do us any harm. Um, and uh, yeah, it's maybe a bit hard, and now we're all cooped up. But there's also plenty of opportunity because the, the fewer and fewer of us are spending all of our days and uh, days and nights at, at work. Of, I, I am, but the particular quirk of my job. Um, but there are plenty of us who who are not at work so much anymore because our our companies are basically closed down. Uh, that one gives us free time that we could do exercise with. Um, so uh, um, I think we all need to think hard, think 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 uh, think our way through that one quite hard. Brilliant. I mean, it is a difficult time at the moment. From your point of view, what are you finding it personally in, in the family? Because you're, you're amongst all of us who are having to, to be locked in. Um, how do you how do you find it easier to bide that time? And, you know, people living in a flat, perhaps you haven't got access to a balcony or garden. Um, you know, yeah. you, any kind of tips or ideas personally that you've gone through that actually have helped you? Oh, I have to make effort to go out. Um, I'll, I'll either go for a, a, a walk around the block once or twice or three times, or I'll go for a run three or four or five times a week. Um, and yeah, that requires conscious effort. Um, normally, when I'm at the office, I normally cycle to the train station and get on the train. So I get me 40 minutes exercise a day just by default. But I'm not having that at the moment because I'm cooped up at home. Um, so, you know, we all have to make effort in that space. And for those who can't go out because they're on they're kind of being guarded and they're sort of face safeguard around yeah. and they're, they're staying in any kind of ideas about whether it's your muscles that you need to be kind of getting stronger or whether they can do anything else um, indoors have you any um, kind of so so I, I did there's there's, there's all sorts of home-based stuff that, that you can get your muscles stronger with. The, the, Joe, Joe Wicks is the, the, the nation's new PE teacher. My kids do Joe Wicks' PE avidly every morning now. Um, I'm, I'm told Mr. Motivator's made a comeback as well. Um, there are um, pl plenty of uh, home-based exercise um, routines that are readily available on the internet. Um, and there's plenty of stuff in all of our houses that we can do around sit sit stand type of exercises or using steps stepping up and down stepping up and down on the bottom step it's been, it's probably not the most interesting thing that we could do but but there's plenty there's plenty of stuff within our homes that we can just utilize every day to get exercise 
brilliant. And do you know about the benefits? Are the benefits quite quick when you start exercising? As far yeah, as the body's uh, uh, so so the the fairly immediate, uh, I would say. Um, the 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 longer you do it, the more the benefit. The more intense that you do it, the more the benefit. But the benefits are almost immediate. Yeah. So perhaps if people are looking for, you know, they're finding smoking, stopping smoking really, really hard. They're finding a loss of weight quite difficult. Actually, just by going outside for a walk or doing something indoors, you'll get that immediate benefit, which actually could be the good yeah, start. Yeah, um, ab absolutely. I, my, 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 within a day. Um, uh, and the, 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 if you do it every day, you get more benefit. Brilliant. Greg, well, thanks very, very much indeed. I um, wish you well. Okay. Have a happy, happy Easter. And uh, thank you. you know, let's, let's hope we'll be out of this fairly soon. But thanks very much indeed for your, so. for right. your time. Thanks, okay, thanks a lot. See thank you. Bye-bye. Cheers. Man. So that was Greg Fell, who's Director of Public Health at Sheffield, um, giving us some ideas in a very kind of, um, you know, way that we can actually all understand. Um, I think the idea there is really to try, you know, the one thing we can do is probably get that exercise in, every day and that's not just for yourself of course it's for everyone because if you don't have to go into hospital um, because you've got yourself a bit fitter then it allows someone else to so thanks very much for listening and um, I will wish you a happy Easter thank you bye-bye